सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो टिल नाउ वी हैव कवर्ड अराउंड फोर वीडियोज ऑफ नेटवर्क एनालिसिस एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क एनालिसिस एंड टू ऑफ द सेशन इन दैट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड द प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू सोर्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन राइट सो नाउ इन दिस सेशन फ्यू मोर प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू सोर्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड देन फ्रॉम द नेक्स्ट सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द न्यू टॉपिक ओके so we have three problems in this session three of them are very important so now let's continue those three problems so here uh, this is the first problem here again the same thing which i have done in previous session that is we should be finding an equivalent uh, uh, you should reduce this uh, network network to a single voltage source along with the series resistance okay between the terminals a and b so this let's start with one simple circuit here first of all okay so here this is very simple you can see that you know, how to reduce the uh, some of the parts in this circuit is so here we have all the parallel branches but here in this one this particular branch we have one voltage source in series with resistance so now convert this voltage source to a current source in parallel with this resistance so that all these branches would be in parallel then we can reduce it right yeah so this is one circuit here very simple okay only this one change here we should be doing this is 5 amp so keep this 5 ampere as it is 2 ohm resistor as it is this 2 ohm resistor as it is and here see the direction of voltage plus minus so arrow head would be upwards okay then this 3 ohm then ampere 2 ohm 1 ohm between terminals a and b so now all these branches are in parallel okay and this current value here is i is equal to v by r okay that is 10 volt by 2 ohm that is 5 ampere so these three branches the current branches are in parallel so we can convert it to a single current source and these four resistors Oh, sorry. One, two, three, four, five resistors are in parallel. Okay. Five resistors are in parallel. We should be converting it to one single parallel resistance. Okay. That is first. These three voltage or current sources. That is one, two, three. All are having the same direction. So all should be added. Five plus five plus ten. That is twenty. So this is twenty ampere. Along with that. equivalent parallel resistance here we have five resistors okay so we have five resistors so uh, calculate one by one and uh, i have approximated i have the value here that is 6 by 17 ohm okay so if you want you can check it later i uh, because it's very lengthy because i want to solve two more problems so like this we have reduced so one last step here is convert this current source to a voltage source and this resistors keep it as it is 6 by 17 value is 0.35 ohms and v is equal to i into r 20 into 0.35 okay that would be giving you 7.05 volt okay so this is your final reduced circuit in this case okay so these five resistors are in parallel so that's why the parallel connection all five we should be uh, taking together in picture and you should be finding the equivalent parallel resistance that is i have got approximately 6 by 17 ohm and 6 by 17 is equal to 0.35 ohm and this current source have converted to a voltage source in series okay so this is a reduced part so this was one simple problem so now without wasting any time let's get to the next question now so this is the next question here determine the current in 12 ohm resistor okay so this is this 12 ohm resistor shown in the figure using source transformation okay and we should be finding the current i of 12 ohm in this case so i told you right whenever they give this kind of question which resistor they have mentioned either current or voltage that resistor till the end step we should not be touching that okay we should not be considering it to picture so this branch here we should be neglecting and consider this part of the circuit only and try to re reduce this part and we should not touch this 12 ohm resistor till the end step 
the first year how can we reduce this circuit here you can see here we have one branch here like this in a uh, uh, cross manner but uh, uh, if you see carefully this bra this branch is connected between these two points and this points right we ca it can be anywhere in these two lines okay so that's why this circuit looks a bit complicated first rewrite the circuit in a simple simpler fashion that is 12 ohm 24 ohm and minus plus okay i've just uh, uh, interchanged the type of writing this voltage source here then now write this branch like this 48 amps okay so this is 60 volt 2 ohm 4 ohm Thirty amps. Forty-eight. Two forty. Twenty-four. Twelve. So here, this branch is there. Right? I have written it like this. Okay. And if automatically, then this line uh, is uh, having no value, no resistance, zero resistance. So that's why this whole line would be vanishing. Okay. So in this way, first try to try to reduce the circuit. Now what to do? Now it is very simple. This branch is there, right? Okay. Convert this voltage source to a current source in parallel resistance. Okay. So that we can add the two current sources and uh, we can reduce the circuit. Okay. Very easy. Let's do that. Now see, I have reduced the circuit here. So now this voltage source is replaced by this current source so with the direction of current like this downwards since it is minus plus so i is equal to v by r that is 240 by 24 that is 10 and here these two branches are have a current source in parallel resistance so that's why i've converted this into a voltage source with series resistance okay so that's why v is equal to i into r 30 into 4 that is 120 volt now how to reduce this further so here uh, we should not be touching this 12 ohm so that uh, you know we should be keeping till end i've told you right so now what how we can further reduce this this part these two current sources are in parallel so we can convert it to a single current source okay that is this 12 ohm is as as it is and these two current sources have same direction downward direction and you should be adding them so that would be 58 amps 48 plus 10 is 58 and keep this 24 ohm as it is and here these four components here are in series right we they don't have any common uh, brand they are uh, don't have any common branch and so that's why they are in series so that's why we can write it as so here we have plus minus plus minus same direction so that's why this we can be reducing it plus minus we should be adding these two that is they are in series 120 plus 60 is 180 2 ohm plus 4 ohm is 6 ohm this is 24 yeah so like this so we should be reducing next so now next step here is we have reduced this part here now this 12 ohm again you should not be touching so in order to reduce this part here so we can reduce by one step that is this branch again we should be converting it to one current source in parallel resistance so that the two current sources would be getting added up and two resistances in parallel also would be converted to a single resistance right so now let's do that so here see i have reduced it and this current source value here is i is equal to v by r 180 by 6 so 180 by 6 is 6 3 is i 18 so 30 amps here okay so now we can reduce this circuit here 12 ohms as it is then we have these two current sources but with opposite direction and this is the greater current so that's why this we should be writing here then we should be subtracting these two 58 minus 30 that is 28 amps and these two are in parallel so that parallel resistance you should be making it to a single resistance that is 24 into 6 divided by 24 plus 6 so 26 are 120 or 24 144 divided by 30 
okay if you take this value we would be getting around 4.8 ohm you can check it later okay so that's why this value is 4.8 ohm now last step is convert this uh, a current source into an equivalent voltage source with series resistance that is is 12 ohm as it is and see the direction of current it is downward so minus plus and this resistance that is 4.8 ohm 12 ohm v is equal to i into r that is 28 into 4.8 we would be getting 134.4 you can check it in the calculator later 4.4 volt okay so now they have asked us to calculate the current through this 12 ohm resistance okay so that's why see here we have two series resistances along with one voltage source and we know that current formula is i is equal to v by r so i of 12 ohm is equal to voltage source is 134.4 volt and the equivalent resistance here is these two are in series here okay one common branch so 12 plus 4.8 is 16.8 Okay, and if you put this in, put this in the calculator and check the answer, you will be getting around eight amps. Okay, so this is our current through this twelve ohm resistance, that is eight ampere. Okay, so in this way we should be solving this problem. These kind of problems should be asked, so please note it down. Okay, so now let's get to the next problem. So this is the next uh, network here, seventh seventh question here. that is find the power induced in this network that is in this now we should be finding the power okay we know that power is expressed in terms of watt watt okay so here again we can see that these two branches are connected through this terminal we can either write we can convert these two branches and write it in a straight line in order to uh, reduce the complexity so first do that thing this 5 ohm 50 volt so this is 10 ampere source This is two ohm resistance, three ohm, ten volt. This is five ohm, fifty volt, ten volt. So in this way, I've just uh, rearranged and the sum of the components and uh, rearranged the branches. I wrote that and wrote this circuit. Okay. So now, how to reduce this circuit now? So now again, uh, not much complex, uh, complicated. So in order to reduce this now, so here we have this uh, voltage source in uh, series resistance converted to this current source into parallel resistance, so that the two current sources would be getting added up, and two resistances also would be converted to a single resistance, right? So do that. An ampere, two ohm, three ohm, plus minus. So direction you should be seeing it correctly. And uh, I is equal to V by R, ten by three. So that is around three point three three three. But uh, do one thing: keep ten by three as it is. Okay, so write it as ten by three amps. So the next step is add these two current sources, same direction. So that would be ten plus ten by three. That is thirty uh, plus ten by three, forty by three. Okay, do write that forty by three. And these two are in uh, parallel. So that is two into three by two plus three. Two threes are six, and two plus three is five. Six by five. Okay, six by five. If we do, we would be getting answer as one point two ohms. So this is our equivalent resistance. So write that five ohm, fifty volt, one current source, one resistance. So current source value is forty by three amps. This is one point two ohm, five ohm, fifty volt. So here we have reduced the circuit here. Now, now again nothing much to do. This whole branch voltage current source in uh, in parallel converted to a voltage source in series resistance. That is, five ohm, fifty volt as it is. 
then see the direction of current that plus minus in series so that is 5 ohm 50 volt this is 1.2 ohm and this uh, voltage value is now I, V is equal to I into R 40 by 3 into 1.2 okay that is 3 ones are 3.4s are so 40 into 0.4 If we do this 40 into 0.4, we would be getting a, is 100. So this would be 100 volt. Now nothing much to do. Now here we have two voltage sources along with this uh, two resistances converted to one single voltage source and resistance. That is Since these all are in parallel connections, so that's why this would be now minus plus and plus minus. So these two would be, and this is the higher uh, voltage. So these two would be subtracted 50 volt 5 plus 1.2 that is equal to 6.2 ohm. Okay. And here we have converted this like this. Now find the current I is equal to V by R. Okay, because we know that the formula for power is V into I. So V or V uh, voltage we have uh, one resistor we have. So that's why 50 divided by 6.2. Okay, this we will be getting approximately 5.8. Okay, amps. Now finally P is equal to V into I. That is 50 into 5.8 that was that would be equal to 274.19 watt okay you can check it later so this is the answer of power here like this we have reduced this circuit and solved this problem so hope you understood this that's all for this session guys like share subscribe to our channel stay updated to this uh, playlist and uh, those who are uh, having backlogs do refer these videos okay thank you